Hey guys, um, here back for part two. Um, in this one, I'm going to show off the Golden Gift Boxes, uh, Monster Side Squad, new spell, um, the new Zorback Assist, and uh, new pets in the uh, Limited Time Shop. Um, let's see. Also. Um, the new, uh, uh, the Guardian, um, the new Guardian Tower, the new, uh, the new art, the new armor in the, uh, Guardian Tower. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Show off. Okay, so um, with this one, oh, in the uh, in the Nerf kitten, I forgot about that one. It was recently updated. So, all right. So with this, the farmer armor is primary earth, and it has really no good secondaries. Um, but it has a neutral lean. Um, with good melee defenses, I'm, I'm looking at, actually, how good is it without a shield? Yeah, it's better than ma range and magic. Um, but, so, it's normal attack, um, so it has two normal attacks. One's a normal magic slash for melee and magic weapons. And if you're using a a or a not a 100% um, range weapon like this one, you actually use a sheep to attack. I'm not kidding. You grab a sheep and then throw it for a two-hit attack, and it's okay, I guess. Um. It's a clever, like, idea, but I have other, um, other earth armors, so I'm probably not going to end up using this. Um, next thing I want to show off, actually, let me show off the skill here before I do that. So, it, this costs 490 damage, or 490 SP, but, um, the MC is a... So it has a water skill, so it's a skill, not a spell, that calls up a cow that has like a four hit um, milk gathering attack, which is kind of weird, but it does good enough damage, I suppose. Um, I don't know why it would have like a water skill. I mean, I guess, I guess it makes sense for a cow to be water but yeah um so anyway so next um is the weapons from the uh the golden gift boxes so this armor is in the ultra rare box i i don't know why to be honest i i Honestly, would consider this at most like a rare, but and that's that's just me. Um, so the weapon I'm using right now is um, it's called Bloodstorm. It's in the rare box, and it's a melee, um, melee and magic because you can switch the blade to switch to magic. Um, fire sword, and the MP is uh, funneled into the special. So it does have a special. The special deals 150% melee in damage, and then the player is healed to one divided by, or one sixth of the damage dealt divided by the mob's fire resistance. So if, however, if the player is over 80% over HP, the special just does 25% melee in damage. So, 
I mean, it's a good fire weapon. Um, but it's kind of like uh, the vampire, the blood blade, in um, in the vampire, um, the vampire castle. But this one, this one has its perks. I mean, the uh, like the bonus damage actually actually can do a lot. Um, I do like it. Um, this is like fire. Uh, it orig originally started off as both or just melee, but then the forum kind of got in a in a rush, and uh, they switched it to being both melee and magic. Um, the next one is also in the rare box, is the Toxic Gladius. This one, I think, has a really cool look to it. Um, it's also, um, melee magic swappable. It originally was a melee only, but then it got swapped to magic and melee because, again, the forums. Um... But the thing with this is it doesn't have a special, so not plus nine percent damage. And the MC is that is that it inflicts poison on hit. Um but the weapon takes minus forty percent damage. Um plus five for MC and then um minus forty five percent for effect. On all player attacks and specials. At the end of your turn, the monster is poisoned. Uh, the power is 9 times the hits connected divided by hits attempted divided by 5 um, times 0.75 only in magic mode. The duration is 5 rounds. The monster can save, of course. Um... But this is actually a really good, like, way of poisoning, because, like, on every single, like, on all player attacks and weapon specials. So, you can do, like, like, a, a, a normal player, like, weapon skill on, like, any armor with this, and it'll, it'll poison. Plus, this stacks, so, like, it can do a really good amount of damage. Yeah, it's like up to point sixteen point eight. So like yeah, that just did like five hundred damage through poison. Um it can it can do really good um uh poison sacking. So uh let's see what else. Let's see what else. Um And I'll go back into farmer. Um, so another one that they added in, um, which they didn't say anything about, which I don't know why they didn't, but I'm glad that they kind of kept it a surprise, is the uh, a new misc item, which is the the radiant prism. All right, so the Radiant Prism, which is this. Um, it's a light misc, and it boosts light damage, and it has a, has a built-in spell. So it gives um, a certain amount of damage and BTH boost uh, to all normal player attacks and specials with the usual modifiers for light, uh, for magic weapons and spells. So level 150 version gives plus 24% damage and 10 point, um, 10.67 BTH to magic attacks. And it comes with a spell, Prismatic Beam, for 4 hits, magic light. And it costs 
653 MP. And he does pretty good damage. You know, for that. Um, I mean, this can do wonders with, uh, like, in dark, in dark situations. Um, I haven't used it enough, but I think it, it can really do, um, some good things with it. Let me just see if I can find something that's affected by light a lot. Earth ones sometimes do, they'll have it, but. Ah. It, this doesn't um, defend against light, it's just for um, the bonus damage and uh, BTH, which I, I kind of, I pretty much like. Uh, actually. Let's get out of this and then go to a dark, dark one to show off how cool, like how good it can actually be, especially with like fully offensive ones. Uh, two. Well, except for this guy. God damn it. <laughs> um, I'll just nail this guy and then... Let's see. Because... This one has like 30... Like 30 light percent, so I uh, wouldn't be good to go up against that kind of thing <laughs> with a light attack. Oh, yay! Finally paralyzed. <clears throat> good, go away. All right. Oh, perfect. Let's see. Okay. Meh. Stupid bats. Alright. What the? It's, it's usually because of my lower uh, dexterity. I'm probably going to change that at some point, but... Yeah, see, it's it's doing pretty well. I mean, through that. It's doing pretty much better than, than it, what it could have been. Um, if you do, like, damage and um, a BTH boost, I would definitely recommend this one. Um... I can also recommend uh, Toxic Gladius and the Bloodstorm. The Farmer one, um, maybe not so much, because there's definitely better Earth Armors out there, especially like the Dragon Mount Rider, or the Dragon Rider Mount. I don't have it with me. <laughs> um, but, like, that one is becoming, like, one of the best Earth armors out there. Um, I don't know. I, like, if you want to grab it, then I would definitely recommend it. Um, I have a video uh, actually detailing it, so um, that's good to good to go check out. Um, let's see. I'll just get away from here. Um, and there's another... Um, there's another misc item that I want to talk about, which is the the mirrored specs, which are from the, uh, the limited time shop. 
Um, I mean, I'm going to light here. Also, while I'm here, um, there's a new armor in the uh, the Guardian Tower, which is light. So this actually works out really well. Um, it's called the Radiant Winged Guardian. Now, all this is basically is a pair of cybernetic wings attached to the uh, the old Guardian plate. Um, I mean, I, I like it, but I have, um, I have Light Realm Champion, so that's, yeah. Um, it's, it's neutral lean, and it has two attacks. Uh, the first one happens 50% of the time. It's a one-hit attack. And 50% of the time, this happens, which is a 3-hit, 120% total damage. Which is pretty nice. I mean, this is good for... Um, I, I I sometimes use this for shadows. Um, but, and there is the other... Um, the 1-hit one, one, which does 80% damage. I mean, it can be good, but um, it it com it does come with a skill. Speaking of shadows, um, oh, never mind. Uh, I don't have a, a darkness disc on me, so I'm I'm not gonna use this for um uh, for shadows. Let me just get another. Another guy here. Like I did want to show off um, the the, uh, the limited time shop item. So uh, let's see. God. <laughs> um. Well, this isn't bad. So. Um, anyway, so it does come with a skill. Let me, let me get this one out. Um, Guardia Clasm. Channels the power of the Guardians through the weapon. Deals increased damage for 392 SP. Um, so it deals times 2 BR damage and has stats boosted to skill levels. So strength divided by 4. Um, Plus luck times three divided by eight, etc. Oh wait, so strength divided by four or luck or plus luck times three divided by eight. I'm not sure. I'll post the uh, the item or the info sub so you can check it out in your own. Um, it respects your weapon special, and it gets all your weapon effects. Wow. It actually does a good amount. Surprised. Um, so. The Harpy Queen. That's actually pretty good. Um. So it's primary light, and it's kind of the same thing as the farmer, where it's like it's just one element, and it's not like multiple elements. It doesn't have the shapeshifter shapeshifter elements either, which I kind of like because I'm kind of getting tired of that. But um, let's see. So, the mirrored specs, which is the one from the limited time shop, it ha it kind of has this goofy, like, twisted look to it. But what it does is, when you're hit by a light attack, you damage the monster with harm damage equal to uh, the damage received times the damage percentage divided by the light percentage from misc 
divided by 1.4. So the, the top level has um, a 50% um, damage reducer uh, to, to light. So it's like 0.5 times the light. Um, and then the damage is like for 150, it's 13.5%. The SP cost is like 54. So it's, it's pretty good. I mean, you can use this against um, like light monsters, um, like with Communicant Zard and that. But I mean, it, see, it's only it's only doing like a minimal amount. Yeah, it hasn't done like over like ten, so it's not the best out there. But it's it's cool to pick up, I guess. Um, and it's a, it's a less SP heavy misc, so that's that. Anyway, so this is the, uh, the Monster Side Squad summon. Um, it has a, uh, a, uh it summons Pal Paladus, I think, which is the, the purple thing. Uh, Draconin. Which is the fire one, and then uh, Frigidaire, I believe, from past Frostfalls, which is for ice. And I am not sure what this uh, this crow thing is. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna keep it because of rarity. Um, this item is intended to go rare, with no plans for it to return. Um, so I just want to put that out there. Um, but, so with this, it's a 50% chance of 3 hits, melee darkness, uh, plus 10% or 10 BTH lean, does 100 total damage, and then um, the other one is a 50% chance of 4 hits with a magic fire ice fire ice pattern, which is a neck, um, and has a negative 10% BTH lean. And it does 100 total percent damage. Um, all all attacks have a plus 10 percent damage due to multiple elements, and a plus 5 percent damage um, as an MC bonus. So, so ice, fire. I mean, it's not going to be very good for me because I have zero charisma right now, but I imagine it it would be doing a pretty good amount of damage. Um, let's see. It only costs, like, at the top level, it only costs, like, 114 SP per round. So, it can be good. Let's see if it can... Yeah. So, dark, 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 dark. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, it, it would be good if I had charisma, but I, I don't. So... Which is kind of a shame, but I might go back to that. But it's kind of a shame, but let's see. Go back to using this. Um, let's see. Probably isn't a good time for the pets, so I'm just gonna go through this guy and then hopefully I can find something with um good energy and earth 
resists. So. Of course you heal. Um. That did it. Um, come on. No, I'm gonna have to find something. Let's see, water related. Probably water related. Let's go check something out. So water, and then maybe wind, unless water is both. Whales. Okay, this has good earth and uh, good energy, so this is good. Yay, Sinma. Aha. Okay, so first off, the Picazard. Now, um, the Picazard is energy, of course, and it has a normal bite attack and then a second attack that does something special. Um, with Pikachu, it's a paralyzed attack. Because, you know, electric. Um, damage mode is one hit, uh, plus 5% damage. And then the paralysis mode is two hits. It takes uh, minus 50% damage, but there's a point thirty seven times hits connected divided by 2 times the monster energy resist chance of paralyzing the monster. Um, it actually works, like, fairly often. So, let's see if it connects here. Oh. And again, let's see. I want to try it at least at least once. Yep, there it is. Foe is paralyzed, they can't move. So usually like one turn. And then focus on purely damaging. I mean it's it's really good for a um for a pet. I actually like use it a lot now. Um but I imagine if I had like two hundred char charisma back um, it would actually be doing a ton, so, let's see, and then, uh, Bulbazard is, of course, model after, after, uh, Bulbasaur, now this is, um, it has a chance for, um, uh, to use, like, a Razor Leaf attack, um, so it's a 20% chance to do a, a plus 50% plus damage, um, okay, so 20% chance to do plus 50% damage, which can be really good. Uh, and it doesn't do it there. Come on, do it. Mm. Yeah, this isn't good for it. Okay. 
Um, at least with wind, I can show off the, uh, how powerful the Toxic Gladius can be. Vehicle Air Raider. Alright, so hopefully this shows off here, but ow. Um, I don't know if I talked about this, um, the Carnifex Visage in one of my previous videos, but basically um, it adds 50 to your strength, uh, 45 to your dexterity, and it um, it depends between fire and ice damage. Uh, this is in, um, let's see, uh, the ultra rare box. So I suggest getting it like as soon as possible because the shop did say they were going to make it rare, um, pretty soon. So I definitely would focus on trying to get that if you could, because it's a very good compression weapon. Or a compression misc. No critical hits. Don't wanna don't wanna be a pal here, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is actually my favorite um starter from the Kanto starters. So I definitely like that they uh that they introduced it. Um no oh, critical hit, yay. But I mean it's a good like basic um earth earth pet. I would definitely recommend the Pigazard. Um this I would recommend for like rarity sake, but I don't know. Ow. Jesus Christ. I, I, I always usually hate this guy because of that fire attack, so. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, let's see. Oh, the, um, of course. I wanted to show off the, uh, the Zorback ally assist. Now, I saved this to last because it's one of my favorite things that they added to this game. Um, the ally assists overall have been really, like, good quality, but this... This is one of my favorites, because, basically, show it off here, I can't show it off here, hopefully I don't just keep running into, <clears throat> actually, let me, let me do this. Radiant Rage. Alright. Light Monsters. Should be good. Alright. Fusion. Oh. I also have to talk about uh, the Custom Zard. I'll go over that quickly. After I show off the Zorback one. Because I... That's why I came in here. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's auto hit. Let's see. Alright, so ally assist, and then Zorback. So, it's an auto hit, I think, four attacks.
and it corrupts your foe, leaving it with an aura of undeath. So now, it's an undead. So, you can use it with um, the Doom Knight's Blade to have it do a, or attack things like they were um, they were undead. And this can be used with, like, the Mythical Warrior, um, the Communicant's Art, if you have a hard time with that. Um, that could be really useful. Um, I mean, it, it's really good to use, like, in a pairing together. Um, and the, the addition to, like, in addition to this, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, now you have four chances to use your assists, but after the fourth time, um, you have to pay like 200 tokens, which isn't up from 150, but it's better, I think. So... All right, this is getting a long. Like, this is getting long, so I'm gonna save custom zard and uh, the nerf kitten for another. Actually, yeah, I'll save it for another one. All right, um, I'll see you guys next time.